growing up in the 80s and 90s playing video games or computer games when using the terminology most familiar to myself, it's fair to say that at various times it took a certain amount of imagination to truly immerse myself in those experiences. The Secret of Monkey Island is one of my favourite games ever, and I'm sure many people who played that game imagine what it must actually be like to be Guybrush Thriftweed and explore those incredible locations within that game. Looking at a 2D screen and picturing yourself as Guybrush Peepwood is one thing, but having VR technology now readily available, it would be an entirely different experience to play through that game from the first person, with Melee Island and all those characters surrounding you. There's been plenty of experimentation from indie and AAA developers in revisiting games from history and placing you within those worlds through VR technology. We've seen fan-made Mario and Sonic VR experiences, along with a more recent, but still a few generations old, official Resident Evil VR port. But this is just the beginning, there are numerous retro-inspired VR titles available to try, ranging from VR versions of past titles to brand new retro stylized VR games, to emulators which actually allow you to transform ROMs into stereoscopic VR experiences. In this video I want to share a few of my favourite VR titles with a retro flair, but before we get into that, please take a moment to subscribe to this channel for more VR content. And with that, let's take a look. Immersed Robot. So first up is Compound, which is a first-person roguelike shooter delivered with a retro aesthetic. This is still in early access on Steam, but has a free demo available to try, which I highly recommend. Although randomised roguelikes are not really the types of games that draw me in usually, I can definitely appreciate what this title delivers. There's something quite special about feeling you are actually within one of those retro shooters of the early 90s, but the added benefit is that this game was created from the ground up for VR. The interaction mechanics are perfect and everything feels very polished in the VR environment. I'll talk about some other early 90s first person shooters that have been given very impressive VR ports to VR platforms over the years, but because they don't have the advantage of being created directly for VR in mind, there can be varying degrees of jank in how they interact, so this is really where Compound shines. And in spite of drawing heavily on that stylized retro feel, the game looks and feels incredible in VR, in a way that this video really fails to get across. As mentioned, this has a free demo so I definitely recommend giving it a try. Emulation is something that has been explored quite extensively in VR, but there isn't really anything that does it in the way that 3D Sen VR does. 3D Sen is an NES emulator which adds superficial 3D effects to all those old 8-bit games from the platform. Again, this is far more impressive in the headset than a video like this is going to be able to portray, but luckily, once again, there is a free demo for this fantastic project available on Steam. Breathing new life into old 8-bit games is something that VR can do extremely well, and before I actually tried this, I was sceptical of this effect, but just trying Mario, Zelda, Castlevania, Ninja Gaiden, and all the rest won me over. The emulator won't support every NES ROM, but there are a huge number that have been ported over to the system. There is some work required by the developer and the community around this project which allows games to work correctly in this format, and once you try it, you'll understand why. This isn't just a case of arbitrarily extending the view of the game into 3D space, but there are extra steps in order to make certain things look and behave correctly. Correctly. There is even a VR light gun for playing titles such as Duck Hunt. Once again, this is well worth a try for any retro gaming fan. And speaking of Duck Hunt, the next title on the list is an unusual game from Stress Level Zero. Duck Season is a made-for VR title which first places you in a representation of an 80s US suburban home, where you play as a young boy. Your mother arrives home with a new game for your 8-bit NES type console called Duck Season, and once you start playing, it's here that things get weird. You find yourself within the TV itself, with a shotgun in hand, picking off the ducks in a theatrical production of the game. 
You can look behind through the screen and see the boy still playing the game happily as you're enveloped in this immersive world. It's a very impressive effect and combines notes of retro nostalgia with modern day VR titles really well. The narrative progresses as you make your way through the game and I won't give too much away other than to say that the game begins to take a much darker tone as you get close to the end. Duck Season looks and plays extremely well and is definitely another highlight on this list. Some of the titles I mention in this video are a little older now and perhaps not quite as supported anymore. It seems like new retro arcade neon might be one of them unfortunately, but it's still worth taking a look. This is a VR emulation title which places you in an old 80s or 90s arcade. You're free to wander around and customise the layout of the arcade however you choose. You can also set up many different arcade machines providing you have workable ROMs for all those old games. There is even a bowling alley and cinema room with everything completely customisable. You are free to import your own songs for the cassette tapes and your own movie files to appear on the VHS tapes in the cinema room. There are also Game Boys and consoles scattered around which are fully playable. When I first tried this on my Vive back in 2016, I had an almost flawless experience with it, but recently when trying it in my Quest 2 or Valve Index, things weren't quite so smooth. I definitely had some difficulty in getting the controls to work properly, and I think there will be some level of tinkering with bindings to get this functioning as well on more modern day VR systems. Nevertheless, the concept of new retro arcade Neon is is difficult to resist for anyone who loves retro gaming and this title delivers a level of nostalgia and atmosphere which is almost unmatched. Dr. Beef is a developer and modder who has done some fantastic VR ports of old first person shooters. I understand the first in this series was the PC VR port of Doom 3 BFG Edition which was initially released I believe back in 2016 or 2017. Like all of his ports it allowed for smooth locomotion with full motion controller support and since then he has developed some incredible mods for some other id classics such as the original Doom, Quake, Quake 2, Half-Life, Return to Castle Wolfenstein and Quake 3 Arena and Doom 3 as well a Quest version and these have all appeared on the Quest standalone platform and readily available to download over SideQuest. You do need to purchase original copies of all the games but the mods themselves are free and relatively easy to install. Many of these titles get very close to feeling almost like native VR games in many ways and only occasional interactions feel slightly out of place or janky. Every single one of these games is absolutely worth a look if you own a Quest or a Quest 2. Back to emulators, I did want to mention the GameCube and Wii emulator Dolphin which has added VR support. This converts some of those old GameCube titles into VR with in some cases very effective results. This is definitely more of a tinkerer's platform in the sense that dialing in emulation settings and performance can sometimes take a bit of work, although the results can be impressive. I've previously tried this on my index and managed to get excellent results on F-Zero GX and Wind Waker, although I should confess I was having a much harder time getting things running smoothly on my Quest 2 through Airlink for whatever reason. This is probably more down to me though and I think I just need to put in a bit more time into dialing in those settings. Not all games work well in VR through this emulator and those that do can have some issues, but this once again is something worth looking into for anyone wanting to revisit those old GameCube titles with a fresh dimension. MUVR is one I wanted to mention although I've only very briefly tried it myself so far. It allows you to customise a kid's bedroom from the 80s or 90s, decorating it however you choose and placing retro consoles and CRT TVs in various locations. Used in conjunction with relevant ROM files and in a very similar way to new retro arcade Neon, you are then able to play these consoles in VR. You can actually pick up cartridges, place them in the console, then play the games at your leisure, all from within a representative of that old 80s bedroom layout. Appealing squarely to nostalgia, MUVR looks to be a fantastic title that I'd love to delve into much more. Yeah. 
So just before I go, there are a couple of other things I want to mention. The first is centered around the Oculus Quest platform. And this is where you can sideload Android based emulators to play games on a flat display within the Quest. And as a mobile retro gaming device, the Quest is incredibly well suited to this. And it has a lot of value for this purpose alone. So basically it allows you to play any of those old Android emulators sideloaded onto your Quest and just use a normal gamepad to play those titles within VR. Again, this is only something I've very briefly looked into, but if this interests you, then it's definitely worth following up on. There are also a number of retro inspired titles by Ivanovich Games. These are titles such as Operation Warcade, 1976 Back to Midway, 2076 Midway Multiverse, and Pangman. These are all retro inspired titles which are extremely well done and worth looking into. I've only played a limited amount of these, so it's not something I want to uh, dive into too much in this video, but I might very well do a part two to this video at some point in the future, where I'll go more into those titles and mention several others which I need to look into further. There are so many reasons why VR and retro gaming are a great match, and those reasons are expanding all the time. But that's pretty much it for this video, please do take a moment to subscribe to this channel for more VR based content and I'll see you next time.